Welcome to this episode of Shabbat with a Shmir. I'm here in the virtual Barney Greengrass with Shabbat mom, Meredith Berkman. Welcome, Meredith. Thank you, Rabbi. I wish we were there. We can still we can still take out from there, or I could, or order in from there, which I do, but we can't physically be there. But soon we'll be back there. And yes. today we have the treat to talk about Parshat Va'etchanan. Parshat Vetchanan is always read on Shabbat Nachamu. That's the Shabbos after Tisha B'Av. We kind of exhale a little bit. We begin with good news. But actually, the, the, the portion of Vetchanan doesn't begin with such good news. Because Moshe, in kind of a last-ditched effort, says to God, more or less he says, come on. You know, I've been a good guy. I worked hard for you. I took a lot of a lot of stuff from the people for 40 years. Can't you just let me into the land? And like I asked you last week, what do you make of that? Is Moshe kind of just being, you know, kind of a, you know, kind of a sore loser, I think we would call it? Or is there some lesson that we can learn from Moses's, you know, last ditched effort to get into the you know, it's really so powerful um, because you sense the longing of Moses, right? The fact that he's begging, I pleaded with the Lord. I pleaded. I mean, he's he's desperate to go in. Um, and the Lord, you, you know, and, and, and the Lord said to me, enough, never speak to me of this matter again. I mean, now God is getting annoyed, right? Really annoyed. Um, and so you feel his longing for the land, but... Perhaps the message is that by explaining again, by reiterating in a very forceful and specific way, the wrath of God to the people, um, maybe it, 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 it is um, strengthening the, the message of the entire book of Deuteronomy, but follow God's laws, you know, because I'm your leader. I have been in contact with God, though I was never allowed to see God's face, Moses would say, but as close as I could, he passed before me and I saw his back, but yet he punished me because I did not listen. So you have to be careful. Again, it's, it's meant to, um, to humanize his relationship with God, where you see him begging like a child and being refused, but it's also meant to, to humble the people and to frighten the people and remind them that God will not may not be as forgiving with them if they are not forgiving with Moses. And so I think that that's um, a really powerful way to um, to ensure as much as Moses could ensure in these last days that the people were really listening and that they got the message. Well, that's an interesting idea that he wants to humble the people and frighten the people at the same time. You know, that's a hard thing to do because, you know, to frighten the people is one thing to, you know, to make them afraid of God's wrath or God's power. To humble the people really means to make the people realize what their role is in the whole in the whole picture. And I think that's an interesting thing because Moses, you know, Moses must have gone back and thought about the movie. You know, I guess it was the Ten Commandments. Moses, you know, um, <laughs> Did he, did he do a good job? You know, how did it work? What would I have done differently had I done the movie again? And I think that's really what he's saying to the people. You know, you just have a place in this bigger narrative. And always keep that in mind. And if you keep that in mind, things are going to work out well. But the minute you forget that, the minute you start thinking that you're bigger than that, well, I got in trouble and you're going to get in trouble. It's a really relevant message even for today when we look at COVID and we look at how much control we all felt we had in this world and suddenly, poof, the world is completely changed. Completely. Anyway, so this is, a, this is really a, 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 you know, a thought-provoking pr parasha and it's really wonderful to be able to talk to you about it. Thank and we you. wish everybody a Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. <laughs>